today we're making a little top with a lace frill on it. Now this again is a variation on the basic dress pattern. And I think it's really good to give you all these variations because you get to see lots of different ways you could use that basic pattern. So if you'd like to subscribe to our channel, you're very welcome. So we've got all our pattern pieces cut out apart from our frill. All we're going to do is place our, our front bodice with the pattern facing up and our back bodice with the pattern facing down. Okay, and on this one it doesn't matter which way you go, just pop them like that. Okay, and then we're going to just put a pin on here and here, here and here, and we're going to do a back stitch straight across and a back stitch on each of the shoulder seams. Hit right on the edge, pin out, and straight the way across. Little back stitch, and straight to the end. neat stitches okay and do that on your other side as well so here are two pieces what you want to do is just give it a little finger press just along those seams make sure you've got clean hands before you do it there <laughs> okay so having this one with the pattern facing up and this one so that your seams are on the outside okay lay them on top of each other and we're going to pin from here all the way down all the way around here all the way okay, just got to go, around there and all the way down here and then we're going to pin all the way around here and all the way around there so here we are it's all pinned together and we're just going to uh, sew all the way around and we're just going to start with a back stitch so we'll do a little stitch on and a back stitch all the way around okay and so get to that behind where it's just going just underneath that foot and then turn it okay and then come all the way around you might want to go a little bit slower on this bit I did here is I pinned this one facing that way and the underneath one so it was facing the opposite direction on the seam so you get a bit of a flatter piece there okay come around just take your time and gradually move it around if you want to because your needle's down you can lift that foot and you can move it to whichever place you want but you want to keep it so that that edge is just sitting underneath that foot with that piece there and can you see what's happened here that my fabric has gone underneath and if I carried on sewing obviously I'd stitched that so always be careful that you've got that nice and laying flat Just going under there, look, and then turn it, and you'll find that it's just perfect. Okay. And a little back stitch. Okay. And then we're going to do the arms. Okay, so with the arms, this is a, it's like a semicircle, isn't it? So we're going to go very slowly around it. Just put my needle into it. I've got another one, so I'm making two tops at the same time. Just going to go around, very slowly turning it. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can just lift your foot and turn your fabric. But I'm just going to very slowly move my foot so that, move my hand so that this fabric goes underneath the foot without having to lift it up 
and I find that works for me but if you don't find that's working for you just do a little bit at a time and then lift your foot and move it to the position so I'll show you what you do so you come to there look and I would just move that then lift and move it just a tiny bit and then you can see it's coming off again so you would just lift and move it around again and if you go very slowly with your foot pedal you can get that done easily okay you don't want to push that fed pedal too quickly you want to just do a very slow stitch and I'm doing mine on my normal stitch which is a four but you must, you must choose the stitch which you prefer to sew in it's like here I am going to turn that there you go and right under that arm there okay and then do a back stitch okay and then forward again all right so there you have your arm sewn so we're going to do that on the other side as well okay as you are snipping around if you do go over the stitches just go back to the machine and you can stitch say from there to there and you'll get a that will block the whole up. So I've just turned this one out on this side. Let me turn this one out. So what we're going to do, I've got four steps now. You can use a knit and needle to push it through from the other way. You can use four steps like I'm using here. I just push them through and I just want to clamp onto it just by the shoulder. You don't want to pull too much through at any one point and just gently pull that through. And there we go coming out. There you are. So anything with a sort of blunt end up and push those two corners out there because you want a nice sort of square corner on that very back edge there. So we've got to there. So the next thing we are going to do is we are going to take our top and we're going to take these two pieces and we are going to place them together like that okay and we're just going to put a pin in that center piece where those two seams meet up and we're going to put a pin here all right there you go we're going to leave this blue piece open okay we're just putting a pin in through here on this piece because we want this piece here to um, join together the two front sides and we want the two back pieces here to join together but we don't want this piece here joining together so I'm coming in here and I'm just going to put it so that the needle sits right down on that line of stitches so I'm just going to line it up so that where my needle goes down it's going to go down into those stitches make sure you've got your foot here so that you're on that mark there I'm going to do a few stitches forward some back stitches just a couple because you just want to sit on that line and then right the way down to the bottom and a few back stitches and do exactly the same on the other side so I found this really nice really pretty piece of lace uh, it's got little hearts and that on it and what I've done is I've taken the end piece like that and what I want to do is I want to fold it so that it's striped on that edge there but it's running up like that at an angle because what you want to do if you're going to put it in you don't want to pin it to the back the blue piece at the back you just want to pin it, pin it to the front of your bodice okay so, and that will stop you having that raw edge on your lace okay so if you pin it like that so do that both sides Okay, and then you can trim that off. Right, that keeps that out of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to stitch all the way along, but not on the blue. We're going to keep the blue right back out of the way. And we're going to stitch all the way along with this, keeping it on that quarter of an inch, keeping that blue pushed away from the needle, okay, round the back. So just going to run across 
can do that. So we're just going to come on, do a back stitch. Okay, and then we're going to go all the way around, taking those pins out as we go. Okay. Keeping that on there. You see, it's just there. Keep it at that all the way you have now this lace was gathered already. You can get lace which isn't gathered and then you have to gather it by doing the tacking all the way along. Now when you get near to this end piece you want to just pull that blue piece out of the way because we don't want to stitch onto that, alright? piece all the way across the front okay and um, now we're going to come back around and as you can see we've got that lace coming out there what we want to do is tuck that piece of lace underneath that big piece of lace here is going to come inside there all right and can you see that end there on that piece of lace that needs to go on the outside so we're going to pull this up but making sure that lace is laying lovely and flat underneath, okay? You see it's all going inside but keeping it nice and flat. Marry up those two seams there, making sure that that lace is lovely and flat down there. Just spend a little bit of time doing that, all right? And then pin it all the way across. Get those two seams sitting nicely together there and then come along here making sure that piece is on the outside like that all right because we're not going to see any of this bit all right now when we get to the middle we want to leave a gap about that big okay so i'm going to put a pin in here like that and then i'm going to put a move along and put another pin just in here like this okay I'm going to come along to the end and again making sure that piece is outside, okay? All tucked outside of there. So another pin in on those two seams so we get those seams laying exactly one on top of the other. And then up to the end there. Right? Okay, and then we're going to stitch all the way along here to here. Do back stitch there. And then we're not going to stitch this piece, we're going to come along here, do a back stitch after you've done, gone on there, and then right the way to the end and finish with the back stitch. Put that foot so you've got the just the very edge of the fabric there. Alright. Back stitch. All the way along. Stopping here, and we're doing our back stitch. Okay, and then you can lift your needle and pull that along. Give yourself a little bit extra thread and drop it back in where your pin is. All right. Oh, I forgot to do a back stitch. I'll come back and do that in a second. Do a back stitch back there. <laughs> Sorry, and then come all the way along.
do that back stitch which I missed. So now you just need to pull it out. We're almost there. No. Can you see what I've done here? What I've done is I've managed to catch the lace inside the stitches. So I'll just go back with um, my quick on pick, unpick that and then just restitch back over that. So I'll just do that. So you're going to want to be really careful if you do catch your lace because obviously the lace is much fragile, much mm, fragile, much more fragile than the fabric. So you want to make sure you only catch the stitches. All right. So it's good to see if I make a mistake. I try to leave it in so that you can see if um, where I've gone wrong and try not to make that mistake yourself, and also how to put it right. So basically I just caught the fabric in there, the uh, lace inside the as I was stitching over the top there. Just one more I think. Okay. There we go. Okay, so that's all laying beautifully now. So I really do like the lace with that, I think that looks really cute. Um, I'm going to show you how to do a, frill, a ruffle as well, I think that's lovely. Right now what we want to do now is grab your piece like this and take it like that and we're going to hand sew across here and we're going to do it just as we've done it before going in and out of the fabric. And what you want to do is to take it and put it a couple of stitches back from where you were so that that knot sits inside. All right, there we go. Okay. And my granddaughter's um, little cousin, um, the little boy one, we sent him some Lego over. And I think he's going to be excited about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it back in there. And what we want to do is we want to just catch that front fabric. Can you see it not come through the fabric? You want to catch the inside of the seam of the front fabric because you don't want any of these stitches showing and if you're worried about getting the line you can take that to the iron and just iron that little piece there okay but we're going to run across here and we're going to go in through this side of the fabric like that all right and then you can pull that one out and then right into the next piece of fabric behind making sure that it doesn't come out through the front of the fabric all right and then you're going to go all the way along just like that until you've got it all stitched over the reason we're doing this is this little top is going to be reversible so she can have it on the plain blue side i'm going to put something on the front of it okay so we're just going to go all the way along just like that there okay so we're just coming along to this very last piece here. I'm just going to pop my needle in, making sure that it's, oh, it has come out the front. So we want to make sure that it's not coming out the front at all, still coming out the front. We've gone all the way along there without it getting it to come out the front, okay? And then it did that. So I'm going to put that last stitch in there, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to tie a knot. And to tie the knot, we're going to do Make sure I get a piece of fabric and not just the lace. Okay, still haven't got it. Right, check it's not come through the front. Okay, so we've got our thread and we want to pull our thread so we've got a nice big loop. And I'm going to hold it on my arm. <laughs> Sorry, I've held the whole thing out now. Here we go. So I've got it on my arm. All right, I'm just going to put it in again. Sorry about that. Can cut that bit out put my needle in making sure it's not coming out through the front and then I'm going to pull it in right and I've got my thread and I put it over my arm before I did anything so I've got it here and I'm going to just twist it okay around just once and I want to keep this thread nice and tightish here and pull it back I don't want it catching and knotting before it gets to the end of the thread all right Keeping that like that, we're just going to pull that out. 
and get a nice knot and we'll do another one I always like to do two and this is the little top with the lace they look so cute don't they so what I'm going to do now is put the velcro on okay so what I do is I'm going to have one piece and I'm going to put it on the outside of this one and the inside of this one but obviously when you turn it around it'll be the other way around I need to straight down into it into the actual velcro itself okay I'm going to come right the way down so it's just a nice soft velcro If you find that it does come out like that at the bottom, don't worry too much because if it's sticking out, it, you can always trim it. I don't know why that one tended, decided to do that. Okay, just so move it over that way a bit. That's better. And I'm going to come up the other side. I'm going to do back stitch. So that one is on the inside, so the other one we want to go on the outside, okay? okay you then can move it over. And that's it finished, that's our little tops finished. So here we have them, this is the one with the ruffle, okay? And this is the one with the lace, okay? And then if you turn them around, you could use a different fabric completely. You don't have to have a plain. That's the one with the lace. And then what I'm going to do on this side is I'm going to choose one of my motifs and put on there. And I think on these, I'm going to just pop on. I had a really pretty butterfly with a flower and I have the flower onto the other one, I think. So I'm gonna just put this on and I'll show you how you do it. And I'm gonna open him up very carefully just go over the top get it nice and flat before i start i end that collar where that um neckline is down and the sleeve line is down that's it before i stick anything onto it okay there we go right, and i'm gonna put the flower onto this one i think and it can go in the center like that and that looks quite pretty doesn't it Make sure that's sort of centre-ish. A good way to find the centre is to place the pieces together on the shoulder seams and just give it a little, and you've got an idea there where the centre is. Okay, and then I'm just going to put them on. And it just literally, I think you hold it for 20 seconds. And you're just going to put it on. I always try and move it around, not have it on. I don't want to burn anything. That's it, and it's on. And you can see how well it's on. It's, oh, it's still hot, sorry. <laughs> Once that dries, that will just stick on there and it won't come off at all. You could see the glue inside there. Can you see it's not coming off anywhere at all? Now, if you were worried, you could go around and put a row of stitches. I've never had a problem with mine coming off. Um, that make which I had was there. Okay. Right, so that was that, and as I said, that had on it, I think that one's about 120, 130. You've got your butterfly, your flower, and your other flower, so that was enough, that's going to be enough to do two little shirts. So I'll just press the press on, press the other little bits which haven't been pressed, and then that can go on, and we'll have a look, and you can see which one you prefer. Just wanted to say when you're sticking down your uh, motif on the lace one don't put your iron on the lace if your iron is quite warm it can burn the lace very very quickly so it's best not to put your iron onto that lace okay so there we go there's a step lovely okay let's try them on the doll and see what she looks like I think that just brightens it up a bit. So here I am. What do you think of this one? It's pretty cool, isn't it? I really like it. It's got it shows my belly, isn't it sweet? <laughs> and this is the plain top. Do you like that? It's cool, isn't it? 
like that one that's got the lace on it